Right, so what I would now like to do is try and make this better. And to do that, we're going to explore each of these different parameters here and see what effect that we get from changing them. So the first thing that I do, if the results are not particularly good, and in this case, I, I don't think they're particularly good. Um, there's always a little bit of a judgment call as to when is when do you actually want to detect a nucleus and when not? When is it sufficiently in focus or sufficiently stained for you to actually want to detect it? Um, but there are some things that don't look very good to me, like some apparent fragmentation there where one nucleus is counted multiple times. There's others where it may be arguably missing nuclei that you really should be detecting. And whenever that happens, the first parameter is right here at the start. That's the one that I would want to look at first, and that is the detection image. We have two choices, the hematoxylin or the optical density sum. These relate to color transforms that we can see under the brightness and contrast tool. So I'll press H to hide, and I can view what the hematoxylin looks like. And if I turn this on and off, you can see that for a lot of these brown nuclei, there's very low values after the stain separation in the hematoxylin channel. And so this explains why they're either not detected or the highly textured areas within them indicate why they might be fragmented into multiple nuclei as opposed to one single nucleus. So it might look a bit strange that this fragmentation has occurred in the original image, but you can see that actually there are darker and lighter bits. And because QPath is basing the detection upon this hematoxylin image, it starts to make a bit more sense why it's done what it has done in this case. The alternative is optical density sum, which is really just using all of the brightness information, regardless of what the stain color is. And you can see that now we have much higher values in the positive nuclei and we still have fairly high values in the negative nuclei as well. And so that would then suggest to me that it's worthwhile changing this to optical density sum, pressing run, and then finding out it has improved things. And I would suggest that that's a step in the right direction. 